Hello again everyone. So this is a this video is a continuation of the previous problem that we solved for kinematics. And the previous problem says Goyong is driving a car and saw a cat crossing the street. So the the question was find the time it takes for the car to make a full stop given its initial velocity of 65 meters per second and deceleration of 30 meters per second. So, isulat lang natin yung given para meron tayong reference bago natin isulat yung additional problem for this specific um, activity. So, for the given, we have the initial velocity. Dilitan ko lang yung sulat ko para mag-fit yung, yung solution natin mamaya. So, we have 65 meters per second for the initial velocity. We also have Yung final velocity, given that it will be making a full stop, so that's 0 meters per second, we already have the deceleration as well. So that's 30 meters per second. And yung sign convention natin, mamaya na lang natin i-take into consideration. And we also have the time, kasi nasolve na natin yung time as 2.167 seconds. Okay? So ito lang yung gagamitin natin reference values for this continuation. Okay? So the problem as uh, an additional item is given the problem previously, um, the car uh, or find or what is the distance that the car traveled to make a full stop. So, una sinold natin yung time. Ngayon, ang hinahanap dito is yung distance. So, distance is being asked. And Based on the formulas, ano nga ba yung gagamitin nating formula para ma-solve yung distance? And as we know, yung distance is um, making use dun sa first kinematic equation, di ba? Which is S, isulat natin yung um, equation natin. S is equal to VOT, or the initial velocity, multiplied by the time. And this time, yung ambiguous sign natin, it's automatic negative kasi decelerating yung ating um, object or the car is decelerating. We have one half A or the acceleration multiplied by the square of time. So, maybe we can use this specific equation in this example, di ba? Kasi meron na tayong, yung hinahanap is distance which is already on the left side. We can also use yung pangatlo nating equation which is VF squared minus VO squared is equal or tama is equal to plus or minus minus na sulat ko 2as so both equations are applicable to solve for the distance kasi pareha sila merong distance equation okay so isolve natin using both equations at alamin natin kung parehas or magtutugma yung ating sagot okay so right let's use the blue pen for the solution So, gamitin muna natin. Ito yung letter A natin and ito yung letter B. Okay. So, for letter A, gamitin natin si S is equal to VOT minus 1 half AT squared. So, VO is 65 meters per second multiplied by the time which is 12 or which is 2.167 seconds minus one half and you have the acceleration of 30 meters per second squared make sure lang na um, we use the unit appropriately and we have 2.167 in here and that's in seconds okay so Yung seconds dito ay makakancel out. Diba? At dito is my second din. At mawawala yung second dito na isa. Therefore, ang magiging unit nito is magiging squared yung dulo pala. Apologies. Kasi magkakaroon ng second square doon. And makakancel out yung seconds squared. Alright. So, matitira dito talaga is meters na lang kasi we are speaking about distance. So, given those uh, specific um, quantities, let's 
calculate. 65 multiplied by 2.167, ba? Minus, tuloy-tuloy na natin. Or sige, mamaya na lang. Isulat natin yung magiging sagot. Is equal to 140.855. Minus, sige, i-ano natin, isa-isay natin. We have 2.8. 167, naka-square yon So, square natin. Multiplied by 30. Diba? And then, meron tayong uh, denominator na 2. So, that's multiplied by 0.5. Okay? So, magiging sagot is 70.438. Let's keep um, the unit. That's in meters. And your distance is equal to 140.855 minus 70.438. At ang magiging sagot dyan is 70.417. Okay, so let lang natin. So that we can compare if we will be using the third equation, pares pa rin ba yung magiging output. Okay, so let's solve the same problem using the second equation or the third equation vf squared minus vo squared is equal to negative 2as okay so si distance ang hinahanap therefore pwede nating gamitin na lang yung ano natin yung calculator method at this time kasi parehas lang din naman yung magiging um, magiging outcome pagka dinerive natin yung formula yung equation na to magiging lang denominator niya yung negative 2 times the acceleration sa ilalim okay so magiging equation nito is s is equal to vf squared minus vo squared divided by negative 2as or 2a okay at tingnan natin kung ano yung magiging solution S is equal to how much? So, using this specific formula, gawa natin ng fraction form. Vf mo is 0. So, 0 out na yun. Magiging matitira na lang yung negative. And then, Vo squared is 65 squared. ba? Diba? In the denominator, you have negative 2 multiplied by your acceleration which is 30. So, equals. Tingnan natin kung tutugma. And, there you are. So, same solution or same answer which is 70.417 meters okay so that's it kung gagamitin natin ng calculator method ulit ano nga ba yung um, solution natin for calculator method we have six uh, this one is zeroed out yung third equation yung gagamitin ko minus vo squared so 65 squared gamitin natin yung equals alpha or alpha equals Minus 2 times acceleration is 30. And then you have your give or your unknown which is designated by x. And shift solve. Sabihin natin kahit 1 yung gamitin natin pero magiging output niya is 70. Tingnan natin kung gaano katagal magkakalculate yung, yung calculator natin. O, oh, mabilis lang din naman. So, the displacement, actually... May, may hindi ako na i-consider dito. It would, it would be negative. Kasi, mag, ano to, mag, mag, yung, yung VO, kapag ka in-square natin, it's magiging positive. So, yung S natin is not actually the distance, it's the displacement. Magiging siyang negative. Um, actually, hindi ko pala nalagay yung negative dito sa taas. Or, that's the reason why it's uh, negative at that time. But, yeah, so it's a displacement um, in, in this example. So, distance is equal to 70.417 meters. And hopefully, this specific problem helped you. See you again sa pang-apat nating video. Thank you.